Lebanon is a land with a history of division and citizens woke up on Sunday with the country divided into two time zones. On Thursday, caretaker Prime Minister Najib Mikati decided to delay the switch to summertime till April 20th. Some Muslims fasting during daylight hours in Ramadan would not have to wait so long till sundown. But Lebanon's Christian community want the clocks to go forward as stipulated by law. A number of institutions, including schools and hospitals, announced they would be abiding by summertime. With Parliament declining to meet to discuss the change, some Lebanese say it risks stirring up tension in a society already racked by economic crisis. Honestly, I'm against changing the clock. I'm a Muslim and I'm now fasting. But if they want to change the clock, they need to take a decision through Parliament. The government or parliament should convene. We shouldn't take a decision by ourselves. It's like it's laying down a challenge. They create problems to deepen the division between Muslims and Christians because those in power are the ones benefiting from the people's dispute. But there are others who have been able to see the funny side of grappling with two different time zones at once. We were at a house party last night and we looked at our phones. One phone showed the clock 1.20 and another 2.20. It was like, what's happening? And we wondered if it was the alcohol. We took a photo of the phones to double check later. I look at them now and confirm the clock on each phone was different. So it wasn't the alcohol. It wasn't the alcohol. Further confusion lies in Lebanon's national carrier, Middle East Airlines, keeping its clocks in winter time, but adjusting flight times to stay in line with international schedules. For the next month at least, Lebanese citizens look set to be living according to different clocks.